Hello everyone and welcome to this week's YouTube video. We're going to be working on the sixth chakra today in our vibrational matrix series. So again, as in last week's uh, throat chakra video, I had a really strong download about how we're to work today. So um, I'm so grateful for Lori Lynn Clark of Restorative Practices joining me again with her crystal bowls and I'm going to ask glory because we haven't rehearsed this at all to um they really want us today to f use our intuitive third eye so however that might translate with your bowls so what we're being asked today is we have these earth eyes that we use to see our five senses and then we have a third eye our chakra our third eye chakra is all about intuition and we're being asked to close I'm going to call these earth eyes just so we're all on the same page so we're being asked to close our earth eyes and be, see through our intuition so you might see like pictures or you might see like little videos or movie snippets playing but just trust that whatever you're seeing or focusing on is what you are supposed to see or focusing on. So, so let go of the thought that it's your imagination. Let go of that because in some ways it is. The third eye works through and incorporates all of that skill set that your imagination has. And that's how it brings us to that place of intuition. So let that be okay. So if you have the thought of, oh, I'm just imagining this, go, yeah, yeah, my imagination is helping me develop this skill. So that's what this, this meditation will be about. We'll be opening up this third eye and really consciously stepping into uh, open awareness around intuition. So let us begin and we'll begin the way we have begun all of the other uh, five previous videos. So we're going to start with that grounding breath. So we'll have white energy around our crown. We're going to breathe that down to our second chakra. So big breath in, white energy in. <sighs> Today it's a sparkling and a luminescent white energy that's kind of popping in my third eye. So all the way down to the second chakra, exhale on the count of one, two, three. <sighs> and exhale it into your aura or into your bubble, into your energy, your energy system. So we're gonna do it again. So we have white, illuminescent white energy around the crown. Breathe it in. Down to the second chakra, hold for the count of one, two, three. Exhale. That's beautiful, Lori. Tune into these crystal bowls as well if you can, because they're just bringing our frequency to that of, or I'm gonna say we must be close to 600 by now. So use your breath, use the bowls, use your thoughts, and one more breath. White energy. Breath into the second chakra, hold one, two, three. Exhale. Feel it build you. Perfect. So now I feel really grounded by that. I mean, I feel I'm centered, I'm aligned. I don't have anything that feels out of place or wiggly. It feels like I've grown roots through my feet. So we are ready to begin. I wanna be solid when I start this. If you don't feel solid, just do three more of those breaths. Put this on pause, do three more of those breaths. Check in if you don't feel solid. Just do another three and keep doing them in groups of three until you feel like you're solid. Nothing can push you over. So today we're going to work with the third eye. It's color indigo. So we're going to have that indigo, beautiful indigo color above our crown. I hope I can hold my arm up this long to do these. To do this, this, set of, this video, you might want to lay either in a chair or on your bed to do this so that your arm doesn't get tired. So we've got that beautiful indigo color. We're gonna keep one hand on our third eye and we're gonna breathe that down into our root. So breath in. Ooh, there we are. 
So my roots kind of going, oh, third eye, nice to meet you. We don't get we don't get to talk to each other very often. And then I can just feel that beautiful indigo kind of work with that red of the chakra and just balance it. It's like it's filling it up, kind of ironing out the wrinkles, so to speak. So that's how it looks in my in my third eye, in my place of intuition. Wonderful. So let's come back to the crown. This time we're going to come down to the second chakra. So breath in. Down to the second. Beautiful indigo energy dancing with that orange energy. If you're not seeing colors or feeling colors, just think frequency of 600 megahertz. Or just say, sacral chakra, welcome to my third eye. Third eye, welcome to my sacral. And just let them do, be together, hang out together. And again, when I check in, I feel really big. Again, the same as last week, I'm feeling bigger than the room. It just feels like it's building me. It's making me helping my system grow, integrate, um, work with others. I'm going to just change arms. So now we're going to come down to the third. So we've got that beautiful indigo color. Breath in. Down to the third yellow. Oh, my third chakra today is kind of sparkly. It's very happy that we're doing this. Oh, it loves that third eye. So our third chakra, this is all about self-esteem and our will, and it's very much connecting with intuition. So let's just, Reiki, please flow, Reiki, please flow. And again, just a reminder, as soon as we start this video, I turn the Reiki on. So you'll be having a Reiki session for the whole time of the video. So don't worry about that. That's my, my part of this to do that. It almost feels like there's an infinity wave kind of bouncing between my third eye coming down and circling through this way and this way with my third chakra. Okay. Wonderful. Now we're going to come to the heart. So indigo color. Breath in. I always find it shifts gears. Once we move into the heart chakra, these first, second, and third feel quite dense. You can really almost touch them. They're, they're um, palatable almost. And when we move into the heart, this just starts to feel a bit more uh, etheric, um, lighter. I don't know what words to use. I'll just use those two for now. And I can just see the indigo dancing with, and my heart chakra always looks like that emerald green, sparkly emerald green. And I can see the infinity waves moving this way and this way. And we're just going to let them dance. Oh, now the two of them are going to move down. Integrate with the other chakras. Oh, integration. There we go. Ooh. Let that all happen here. Don't, don't shut it off by saying it's just your imagination just feel it feel it see it see it do your do your megahertz if you need to wonderful so now we've got indigo color and we're going to come into the throat chakra light blue that robin eggs blue or whatever blue your throat chakra is just let it be okay so indigo into the throat Oh, feel that pop. That's beautiful, Mary. And it keeps going. So this one looks like a ripple. Just like you dropped a stone in water and it's like a ripple out. So now we're coming into that next group of three chakras. So we've got the, the more physical one, two, three. Now we're moving into kind of to the more cognitive. This is kind of our intellectual intuition, more of our um, 
ego-based, thought-based chakras here. So this one just keeps rippling out. Wonderful. So now we've got indigo again, and we're going to bring it to our, our third eye. So let's see how this goes. So breath in. Oh, I just see this beautiful, beautiful indigo. It looks like a lake rippling out moving with the green oh, I can it's like the green moves up through the indigo lake waters if I can say it like that beautiful flow total harmony each color remaining individual but working collectively okay and we'll come back to the crown and this the crown so we're going to breathe that indigo color into the crown the violet color so breath in Oh, and that just continues that ripple, but now it looks like the ripples are larger. It's more of a, like we threw a bigger stone into the pond. All three colors are integrating again, so we've got the light blue, indigo, violet, just making, oh, now they kind of look in my mind, my third eye, it's kind of like this Mandela. Connecting out. Fabulous. Okay, so we're back to our third eye. Now we're going to move up to eight. Eight is a power chakra, color gold. So breath is kind of in and up. So we're going to bring breathe the indigo in. Push it up to our eighth chakra. That feels like a total empowerment is the word that keeps coming to mind empowerment so bring that indigo color into the gold and just let those two work together fill each other up check in and see how solid you feel Again, it just feels like anything could just push you today and you're not going anywhere. You're going to stay in your center. You're going to stay in your place of harmony. You're going to stay with your values, your sense of who you are. You are not going to let anybody draw you into their drama today. You're going to stay totally within your own. There's another piece that they're giving. If you feel drawn into someone else's drama, just go into your third eye, activate your eighth chakra, and let those two keep you centered. So let's go up to number nine. That's the wisdom chakra. So breathe the indigo in and up. Into nine. So I'm getting a strong sense of nurturing, of loving, of grooming. Let that chakras, let those chakras all work together. Eight, nine, and ten are more of our higher self. It's kind of our, we're beginning, beginning to become consciously aware of and work consciously with our higher self. So let that higher self bring its wisdom to your ego self, to your this lifetime self. So let's come up to the soul chakra. So beautiful indigo color at the crown. Breathe in and up. Up to the soul. So it's white. This looks like, an again, that iridescent white of the first color we got when we were doing the grounding breath. And let those colors mingle. Acceptance. Total of acceptance who you are, where you are, what's going on in your world, that you're going to have a skill set to walk through whatever it is you need to walk through and trust this, this chakra, this intuition chakra. If you can't figure it out intellectually, go in and then go up and connect with eight, nine, and 10. Wonderful. Oh. So let's bring much gratitude to this chakra, to all chakras, to their, their receptivity and their uh, 
willingness to work together. So that brings us to the end of our video for today. Uh, next week we'll be working on the crown. So on behalf of Lori and I, namaste. Have a great week. Use these, these uh, videos any way that you need to. And it seems like there's a little teaching with each one uh, as we go forward and, and embrace that to the best of your ability. Wonderful. Namaste.